Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 18 tutorial for you. And today we're gonna be looking at the new Denoise plugin. And just in case you didn't know, Vegas Pro is included in Vegas Post, which is a post-production software suite that includes Vegas Pro, Vegas Effects, and Vegas Image. All the affiliate links and information will be posted in the description below, so let's go ahead and jump right into Vegas. All right, so we're in Vegas Pro 18 right here. I have a clip on the timeline of me shot on a Lumix G7, and so it's kind of dark in this scene, so we'll see a lot of video noise in the darks and on my skin and whatnot. We're going to use denoise to reduce that. So here's the original clip. As you can see, it's not bad, but if we zoom in, we can see that it is really noisy in the corners. And even on my face, you can see a good amount of noise. So let's restore this and we're going to go to our video effects and we're going to search for denoise and we're going to find it right here and it only has one preset default so I'm going to drag and drop that on here. So this plugin only has a few options. It has noise reduction options for the luminance levels and the chrominance levels and it has additional post sharpening that it can apply after it reduces the noise. So I'm going to widen up my shot a little bit so we can see it a little better. All right so by default as the luminance and chrominance set to three I'm going to put these to zero and we're gonna take a look at some of the details. You can increase this in increments of 0 0.01, and you can drag the slider if you wanted. It goes all the way up to 20. So for the luminance, if you drag this all the way to the right, you're gonna see it kind of look almost pasty, like an oil painting almost. I mean, it is reducing the noise a good bit, but it's also reducing the sharpness and just kind of blurring everything together. So if I drag that back down, you'll see some sharpness come back into it. And that doesn't look too bad right here. We turn it off, we can see some of that noise come back, and we turn it on, we can see that noise goes away. So 1.5 seems like a pretty good number to me. Now for chrominance level slider, this reduces the color noise. So if you drag this all the way to the right, you're not gonna see that much of a difference actually. It's subtle and there, but it's hard to see with the naked eye. We can slightly see what's going on if we look at the vector scope right here. So this is with the chrominance set to 20, and that's off. You can see that it almost desaturates a little bit when you move your chrominance up. So if it can't remove some of the noise, if it desaturates the color of the noise, it makes it a little harder to notice. So that's what the chrominance level is there for. So I'm going to put this up to, let's say, 3. And that's not a bad number. Now for the sharpening, we can drag this from 0 to 1, and that will increase the sharpness from 0 to 100%. Whenever I'm adding sharpness, I actually like to use the sharpening plugin separate than this one right here. But if I'm ever going to be using a certain number in sharpness, I'm usually going to stick between 10 and 20. It's subtle enough to make it look sharper without adding too much noise. So let's go ahead and look at some comparisons. Here's the original clip again. And now here it is with a luminance level set to 1. Here it is with a luminance level set to 2. And here it is with a luminance level set to 3. And just for a dramatic comparison, here it is with a luminance level 10. And here are all tests zoomed in and compared to each other side by side. Here's the original and Luma 1, and we can see the noise reduction there. Luma 2. Luma 3, and Luma 10. If we examine this, it seems that even if we add a little bit amount of luminance, the noise reduction dramatically gets spread out and so it reduces it. But the more luminance you add, I've noticed that it actually doesn't remove more noise. It just makes your image look softer. Here are the comparisons on what it looks like on a human. Luma 1 with the original, Luma 2 with the original, Luma 3 with the original, and Luma 10 with the original. You can definitely see the image softening up for sure, and we're losing a lot of detail as a trade-off for reducing noise. But after comparing all these and running a bunch of tests, I found that denoise does an okay job. It's good for a little quick noise reduction, but it's not going to work in miracles. So these settings right here, 1.53 and 0.1, seem to be the best ones that work for me that retain the most sharpness and reduce the most noise. You know, a fair balance of both. And that's going to wrap it up for the Denoise plugin. And there you have it. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And if you want to support the channel through Patreon, you can do that as well. I have a link in the description below. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my super subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.